Yeah, hi, I'm Dean Merlo from Merlo Coffee. I'm the CEO here, that stands for Chief Espresso Officer and basically we're about uh, producing great coffee and great food in our cafes. I'm Courtney from Hot Shots Cafe. Hey, um, my name's Alex, I'm from Bannaton Bakery. I'm Mitch, this is Steve, yep. everyone calls him Stove. So I got a phone call one day to come and join Oz Harvest. Well I didn't know what that was but I soon found out they're a very hard working charity and they wanted to eliminate waste and feed the needy at the same time and uh, that inter interested me because running a chain of cafes that we do uh, there was always some, a lot of time and effort good quality ingredients go into these beautiful products but of course if they're not eaten at the end of the day they get thrown in the bin and that always was a horrible thing to me. I used to have a staff member that used to go handing out all our old food and to homeless people in the valley and that sort of thing. When she left, I didn't have the time to do it. And then one day, Oz Harvest walked through the door asking if I'd be happy to donate my food. Wow, that just saved me so much time and effort. And let's face it, every cafe has wastage that needs to go in the bin. Um, why not give it to people that need it instead? Oz Harvest, they, they do a wonderful job. Um, it's, it's really nice to know that anything that we do have left over is definitely going somewhere that's, that's worthwhile. One of the things I like about this charity is it does the real work on the streets. You know, these are, these are people in our community who are down in their luck and they're in shelters. And we have the other end, which produces all this wonderful food that gets wasted. Hi, my name's Phyllis Patterson. Um, I'm head of kitchen at the 139 Club and we receive regular donations from Oz Harvest. My name is Cheryl, I work here at Findari Men's Hostel in Spring Hill. Uh, we feed the desperate. Now a lot of down and out people, people with problems. I'm John, um, one of the volunteers from Wesley Mission. Uh, we do a uh, community meal on a Wednesday evening here at the Tongan Church at the Valley. When Oz Harvest turns up, um, Bob comes to see us and he usually brings like enormous amounts of um, like blueberries I think we got, we got, we got fantastic. I think there was a, uh, I don't know what was happening but there was enormous, we had got like five boxes of blueberries and as you know blueberries is a superfood so we were giving our clients a superfood which is great. We used it in trifles, we used it in um, uh, cakes, puddings, everything. So it was um, a lovely thing to have. Yeah, it, it is. It is good to have fresh, healthy meals because me, I would have just had a smoke and a coffee and a can of coke. And if, if it wasn't any, if they, if they weren't supplying meals here, I wouldn't need anything. Because we're talking about a client base that has a compromised, you know, their, their immune systems are compromised. They don't get a lot of fresh fruit. So um, having these, these donations from Oz Harvest is 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 wonderful. So the call goes out to you guys. You know, come and join Oz Harvest. And for those of you who are already donating your food and produce, great job.